everybody welcome back to my channel i'm zaria mcqueen and in today's video you'll be watching me attempt to use the ghost ball glue to apply my wig for the first time ever i know you and i both have heard so much things about this glue and it was about time that i got my hands on it so the wig that i'll be using for today's demonstration is courtesy of l wigs they are a hair company that offers all types of different kind of 360 wigs, you know, full lace, lace front, all of that goodness. And the wig that I'm using is their Brazilian, I think it's deep curly, but I will put it down below. This is a 360 wig, so there's tracks in the middle, but all around the perimeter you can part. So basically the hair length is 20 inches. I have a natural hair color. The density is 180%, which means it is very full. The lace color is medium and my cap size is a medium as well. Um, the wig comes pre-plugged so you don't have to do too much work on the hairline. I feel like the only place that the work will really need to be done will probably be around the back and the nape. But that wasn't too bad either. And yeah, so first of all, let's get into this wave pattern. It's super beautiful. The hair definitely was very soft when I received it. And I really do like the wave. Super soft and it has that really pretty luster that I always look for with hair because you don't want it too dull as well as you don't want it too shiny either. So let's look at this hairline though. Okay, look at this hairline. A lot of companies, they will send you your wig with a super thick hairline and I don't know why they think that's a good idea, but it is not. Not only does it create more work, it is not natural and you will be plucking for days hunty, okay? Luckily for L wigs and for me, they come pre-plucked so I didn't really have to do too much. And I'm showing you the tracks that's in the middle and I'm showing you the three combs that come in the front as well as one in the back in an adjustable strap. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and start the process of customizing my wig. And to do so, I'm going to spritz some water on the hair and just push all the hair back so that it's going in the same direction which will make it easier to put on my wig head and easier for me to apply my bleach and you know do all of that good stuff so that there's not a lot of hair in the way and I'm not you know completely messing up the hair everything is nice and seamless and it's just making it very easy for me to do this process so I'm just gonna wet the hair dampen it not wet it too much because I don't want the lace to be wet and I'm gonna run my fingers and just comb that hair towards the back so it's easier to put on my wig head and then I'm gonna uh, um, secure it with T-pins onto the wig head. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the combs that's in the front. I did keep the one comb that's in the nape, but the ones in the front I don't like and I don't use because they don't make the wig comfortable for me. And my hair is so soft that any like, you know, kind of form an object rubbing against my scalp will give me a bald spot and honey we ain't trying to do that wigs are protective okay okay <laughs> Okay, so now I'm also going to show you how to bleach your knots, run out of bleach, but make it work. So first off, I just want to let you know that you definitely want a thicker consistency when you're bleaching your knots than this. Okay, this is definitely how you want it, but I didn't realize that I was going to run out of bleaching powder, but then I thought, you know what, I got this. So yeah, you definitely want thicker bleach than this, but we all know that, right? Yes, we do, because we have been wearing wigs and we've been watching my channel to keep us on point and to keep us on fleek so we know this and we know that it's okay to make little mistakes too because with my channel because we watch my channel there's always ways to fix it so yes you guys don't worry but yeah try to get thicker you know consistency than this so here's the hair after it's been washed and I took the bleach off of the lace. It's super pretty and fluffy and I just really like the wave pattern. And to keep my curls looking super good and moisturized, I'm using this Kevy Argan Oil to basically kind of coat the hair, run it through. And this will keep my hair shiny, keep that moisture, and just keep my hair looking good. Because we always want to keep the moisture in our wigs and our weave because remember it's not real hair and it could easily get dry especially when it's curly so with this Kevy Argan oil I don't have to worry about that because my luscious locks will still look good and if you want to go pick up some of this Argan oil I have a link and a discount code in the description box so be sure to check down there
right, so my good sis Aaliyah J put me onto this mousse from Tressa May. I'll definitely put the link to it down below. And it definitely helps. She uses it on her front tools when she's like playing with the baby hairs, getting it to look how she wants. And yes, that definitely is the trick. It helps you to kind of mold it, but it doesn't get too hard. So you could definitely make any changes if you're not feeling it. And then you go in with your got to be glue after to really keep your edges in place. And this does not crust up. It helps the got to be the got to be not crust. So I definitely like this product as well. So I'm going to go ahead with my beauty blender, which is very dirty. Do not use it when it's that dirty. And then I'm going to use my foundation. And then, as you have seen in videos that I've done before, this is the most easy, foolproof way of bleaching your knots without bleaching them. You're just going to basically pat your beauty blender all around the lace until you get that color that you want. And it's that simple. So just in case you ran out of bleach and it didn't do enough for you, this is a simple way to go back in and fix it. Now I'm just going to cut my lace with my super sharp scissors that I just picked up. These are shears and honestly y'all, I feel so professional. Okay, because I officially have some shears to do this hair and I'm now a hairstylist. Holla at your girl. <laughs> so yeah, cut the lace. You don't really want to go straight across. You want to put a little bit of zips in, you know, in there so that it just looks more natural. And yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and apply the unit. I'm using this Ghost Bond adhesive, which you can find on Amazon. I'll include a link down below in the description. And yeah, so I first wiped off the skin that it'll be touching with the alcohol just so that my skin is really free of oil and then I'm gonna apply it. So my first mistake that I made that you should not do is that I used the popsicle stick to apply the glue directly. What I should have did was apply a thin line and then use the stick to go ahead and spread it out instead of spreading it first, if that makes sense. So essentially what I did was put on too much when if I did the line first then smeared it, it would have been cleaner and it would not have been so much excess. So that's my mistake, so now you know not to do that. And yeah, so I applied my first coat and I used my blow dryer on cool to, you know, get it to get tacky. And then now I'm going in with a second layer and doing the same thing, blow drying it so that it could dry, get tacky, and I could go ahead and apply the lace. You want to wait until it's a bit clearer than what I did, but it did kind of work out in the end. And you're definitely not going to put as much as I did on, so you wouldn't really have to worry about that. But yeah, so I use some clips to hold the hair back and that kind of helps when applying it. And when you pull that lace and put it onto the glue, make sure you're not really pulling too hard because you don't want your skin to wrinkle. And you also don't want to put hair directly into the glue. You want to get the lace into the glue. Yes, you guys. So I realized all of this after watching all these tutorials and doing it myself. I realized what really works for me and what I need to do next time. And yeah, that's what I noticed. I noticed don't really pull it too hard. Don't want your skin to wrinkle. And you definitely don't want to put as much because with Ghost Bond, a little goes a long way, especially when applying more than one layer. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so now once everything's in place, you're going to use your blow dryer again on the cool setting to make sure everything is dry. You know, give it a couple blows around the hairline, make sure that glue is dry, make sure everything's setting into place. And yeah, I did not fix my baby hairs yet. I waited till the end. But yeah, so just blow the blow dryer, get it dry, get everything good, nice and clear. So my initial thoughts on this glue, it did break my skin out a little bit. But there is a um, like a skin protectant that they have, and that's what I definitely recommend if you do have sensitive skin. And that's what I'll be using next time because I really, really do enjoy this glue. It keeps your wig on through anything, literally through anything. So I really do love it because of that. But I just know what to do next time so that I can have an even better experience. And yes, you are seeing right, I am applying the glue to the nape of my neck because I saw another YouTuber do this and I figured why not give it a try. This, I would say, I definitely have to work on. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, all I did was put the glue, blow dry it, put the hair in place and blow dry it again. And yeah, I just definitely know what to do now and I hope that you know what to do now after learning from my mistakes. I'm not afraid to